Hello, this is Burn, and on today's episode, I'm going to be answering the question, can you make a man want you? And if so, how to go about it? Hello, this is Burn. Welcome to another edition of BurnMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the guy of your dreams as a direct result of stepping to the most alive, confident, and feminine version of you, no need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy techniques. Now, the answer, can you make a man want you, that the true answer to that is no. No one can make anyone else want them. But you can inspire a guy to want you. And the difference is, one uses force, the other one uses inspiration. If you inspire someone to want you, someone to desire you, somebody to want to spend time with you, that means that out of their own volition, their own heart, is this vision of, I want to be closer to you. Now, the reason why this is important is because a lot of human beings are learning ways of attracting others. Women are learning how to attract men, men are learning how to attract women, in a way that's very manipulative. Because there's things you can do, sexually for example, that can cause a guy to pay attention to you and come close to you and perhaps even get to say things that you want to hear without him meaning those things and without him being good for you. So when I'm talking about you having the power and the force of creation inside of your heart as a woman to inspire a man to want you, I need you to pay very close attention as to who you want to want you. Because if you choose the wrong man to want you and whatever you're doing ends up working, you will end up suffering. Imagine this, imagine that you go to a country fair and in this country fair, you see a big plush animal, right? That you say to yourself, I want that. So you go, you put your, pay your tickets, you, you play five games and out of sheer luck, you end up winning that big freaking animal. What happens when you win that animal? You don't know what to do with it. You can't put it in your room, it's gigantic. You can't put it in your living room, it's a little raunchy. So what do you do with it? Like you won this big prize that is worth nothing to you. That's actually something that's an inconvenience. Don't do this with men. Don't want a guy to want you and then when he wants you, recognize he's the wrong guy for you, now you're attached to him. So here's what I'm gonna recommend. First off, I'm gonna say to you, if you want to attract a guy, if you wanna make a, if you want to invite, invite or inspire a guy to want you, the four virtues that will be most immediately needed are radiance. What is radiance? Radiance is your ability to shine your light unrestricted in such a way that people around you find the magnetism and the inspiration of your vibration so wanted that they, they just want to do things for you. They want to spend time with you. They want to connect with you. And that radiance is not something that you do necessarily in relationship to a man. It's something that you do in relationship to you what you love in life, how excited you are, how much passion you put into your things, how much you're exercising, how much you care about yourself, how much vision you have for your own life, what purpose you're stepping into, all those things create a feeling of radiance. What's the next virtue you need to inspire a man? Sensuality. Why? Because you're inspiring a man to want you. Want you is something that is beyond just intellectually want you, maybe physically want you, sexually want you, emotionally want you. You need to express your senses. You need to connect to your senses first and be able to express them. And it's through the way you walk, the way you look at him, the way you touch his hand, the way you breathe, the way you smile, the way you play with him. All those things are part of your sensuality. And the more you can connect to it first within yourself, the more you'll be able to express them outwardly through your body, through your, through your expressions, facial expressions, and the more he can get it in his heart. The next virtue is openness. Openness is that ability to be open of heart open of body, and not necessarily in sexual ways, but openness in the way you move, openness in the way you allow new ideas into your mind, openness of mind, openness of spirit. The openness virtue is one that will attract more men than you can deal with the more you do it. Confidence is important, that's the fourth virtue. Why? Because if you have the first three and don't have confidence, then what men will do is they might take advantage of you, they might disrespect you, they might use you, they might uh, go too far and if you have confidence then you can say no you can set boundaries and confidence is very attractive so those are the four values to cultivate if you want to continue attracting men and those are values that you cultivate in the absence of men you don't need a man to, to cultivate sensuality openness confidence now you can practice with men once you've cultivated them yourself but these are things that are inherent part of who you are as a woman 
Now, the most important piece of this video is the principles that I'm gonna share with you right now as to when you should step into those virtues to get a man to want you. I'm gonna caveat this by saying that many women who see a man from a distance or are introduced to a man with their, from their girlfriends or something, they make the decision that this guy is worth investing time and energy into and that because he's good looking, he has a good chemistry with them, then they should inspire him to want them. And if you do that, if you inspire the wrong guy to want you, then you'll be stuck in a situation that's not good for you. So here's the first principle is be friends first. I'm not talking about be lifelong friends first. I'm talking about if in the process of a guy inspiring a guy to want you, you don't have any friendship, the likelihood that it cannot work out is higher than if you develop a friendship because a friendship is a solid foundation for a relationship. Uh, physical attraction isn't. It's something that's important in a relationship, but it's not the strongest foundation for a relationship. Next one is figure out his values and his vision. Why? Because far too many women find a guy, they find him attractive, they feel the feels, they feel butterflies in their stomach, they feel excited, and then what they decide to do is they're going to inspire the guy to want them, but this guy wants something different from them. She wants kids and he doesn't. She wants marriage, he doesn't. She wants monogamy, he doesn't. Now, six months down the line, yeah, you inspired him to want you, but now you're with a guy that you feel super attached to, that almost to the point of sometimes losing yourself, and he doesn't want what you want, and he's taking you to a place that's below what you deserve, but you're still going along for the ride and you can't stop yourself sometimes. So that's why it's important to, before you try to get a guy to want you, figure out who he is, his values and his vision. Next one that's important is stop projecting and start with a hypothesis principle. What does this mean? This means that if you keep telling yourself, I met this guy who's incredible. Uh, I met this guy who's the, the kindest, most intelligent man I've ever met. Stop, stop that nonsense and start saying, I met a guy who appears to be the most intelligent and the most compassionate guy that I've ever met. When you've connected with him several times, then your hypothesis will turn true or will turn false. But if you start with the premise that you already made the decision, this guy's on a pedestal, and without vetting him, without testing if it's true, you buy into it, you'll do things that will get you closer to him. And if you find out he's not those things, that it was just a projection, then you're in for a world of pain and a soap opera of unlimited proportions. Not a fun one, by the way. Next one, next principle that I recommend for you as you decide who you should attract and who you should uh, inspire and seduce is to do not have sex with this man before there's commitment. I'm not talking about the commitment of marriage because that might be a little too far. That, that's further than I recommend. But the commitment of intimacy, the commitment of exclusivity, the commitment of them not making love to anyone else, the commitment with them not flirting with anyone else. When those commitments are settled, then you, your risk is lower and your capacity to experience depth and intimacy is higher. But if you have sex with him before there's commitment, the likelihood that you can feel attached to him in a way that's not healthy for you is big. Last principle that I share with you is be your highest self, your highest you, without hiding the truth of what you want and you don't want what you don't want. Why is this important? Because far too many human beings in the process of inspiring somebody else to, to want them, in the process of seducing someone, so to speak, they hide stuff that is important to them out of fear that this man will stop wanting them or that he'll judge them. So what happens is you create this false identity and the moment, sooner or later, and it always happens when you have to tell yourself, have to tell them the truth and tell yourself the truth, I hate this, I don't want that, this is something that I've never do in my life. The moment when you say that, the guy feels like he's been duped because you've been pretending this entire time to want certain things, to have him want you, and the moment you change, he feels like it's not you anymore. So be the highest you without hiding from the start your boundaries, your rules, your principles, what you love and what you hate. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. On the first link in the description of this video, I've created a class, a video that's a class that will show you how to step into the relationship you want in a lot less time and with a lot less pain than you have in the past. All you have to do is click on the first link and then enter your name and email. You'll be immediately redirected to watch this video class right now. If you like this video, please click thumbs up or like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on new episodes. Now, if you're part of the 1% of 1% who's very successful in life, 
but this is the one area of your life that you have not made happen and you recognize the value in what I'm sharing with you. You find the difference between this and other stuff you've watched and you want my hand holding and help to find and attract your ideal soulmate. I have a few spots available for working with women and guide them through my process. All you have to do is on the second link in the description of this video, you'll find an application, fill it out, and if we're a match to work together, we'll set up an appointment and figure out what it's all about. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.